Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing the ongoing unrest in France following the tragic shooting of a 17-year-old during a police check. We'll also delve into the controversy surrounding a crowdfunding campaign and the debate surrounding social media regulation. Let's get started. Unrest and investigation. The unrest in France stems from the fatal shooting of a 17-year-old during a police check. Now, another incident is under investigation involving a possible fatality caused by a rubber bullet fired by the police. These incidents have sparked nationwide protests, particularly in impoverished suburbs, highlighting concerns about racism and police brutality. Marseille, the city where this incident occurred, witnessed intense clashes between the police and rioting youth. It's worth noting that rubber bullets are typically designed to cause non-lethal injuries, but reports have surfaced about severe injuries and even deaths related to their use. Macron's proposed measures president, Emmanuel Macron, has proposed measures to calm the situation. One such measure is the potential restriction of social media to hinder the organization and mobilization of protesting youth. The role of social media in facilitating violent gatherings has contributed to the escalation of protests against police violence. Macron emphasizes the need to carefully consider regulations while preserving freedom of speech. Parental Responsibility and Government Response Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne has announced plans to hold parents of underage rioters accountable. She suggests imposing fines and mandatory parental responsibility training to ensure parents take responsibility for their children's actions. The government emphasizes the importance of a firm stance on law and order in society with the justice system addressing even minor offenses during the unrest. Controversial crowdfunding campaign, the controversial crowdfunding campaign initiated by Jean Messi has garnered significant attention. Messi claims that the responsibility for the 17-year-old death lies with his parents, the justice system and the young man himself. He argues that the teenager was a repeat offender and his clean police record was a result of a lax judiciary. Messi has campaign, supporting the family of the police officer involved, received more donations than the campaign supporting the victim's family. The campaign faced strong criticism from left-wing politicians and the public, dubbing it the Fund of Shame. Due to the backlash, Messiha halted the campaign. Allegations of Messiha's associations with far-right politics have also emerged. Investigations into these incidents are still ongoing. Continued protests and conclusion despite a decrease in the number of arrests, protests and riots persist in France. The situation remains tense requiring ongoing police presence to maintain order. The French government is determined to address the root causes of the unrest and find long-term solutions. As investigations continue and public debates unfold, the nation seeks to navigate this challenging period. That wraps up our discussion on the unrest in France, the controversial crowdfunding campaign, and the social media debate. We hope this video shed light on the complexities surrounding these issues. As always, feel free to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.